Hi, this is Kalyan from Sai Solution. Let's talk about formation of the mind. This uh, particular uh, discussion uh, has got a foundation of uh, pure nature cure, PNC. PNC is a dialectical materialistic observatory science. Now, before uh, understanding the pattern of formation of the mind, we need to clarify our understanding about the reality and rationality both. What is reality that we are trying to understand here? Realities can be of two types. One is the physical perceivable reality and other is the non-physical, non-perceivable reality. Now, what are these? Physical perceivable realities are the realities which are concretized reality. There is no doubt about the existence of the, that aspect, that uh, particular aspect of the physical entity, right? So reality means which exists in real. So physical reality is concrete reality for sure. But the non-physical, non-perceivable realities, we don't deny those realities as they exist or not. But definitely, we cannot guarantee the existence of the non perceivable because the non physical existence, because of its non physical existence. So, there is always doubt about whether it is reality or not. Right now, rationality is how we perceive the reality, and this rationality has got two zones one is the reason zone, and other is the non concluded zone that is, that non perceivable area of the reality. So the dialectical understanding, dialectical materialistic understanding always considers this reason zone is the primary zone, as the primary zone, which definitely gets expanded as we grow matured. Now, that reason zone is pertaining to that physical reality for sure, right? Now, if we take a few examples of the perceivable realities, then these five examples are for sure the perceivable reality. Light, sound, smell, taste, and touch. These do have physical existence. So we cannot deny the aspect, these five aspects, as these are not reality. So these are concrete reality, concrete physical realities. Now, non-perceivable, a few examples of the non-perceivable or non-physical realities, these are definitely mind, intention, gratitude, sadness, hatred, love, respect, thoughts, these are non-perceivable. We cannot claim that these are reality for sure. I cannot claim that I am thinking this for sure. I cannot show it, right? So similarly, what is there in my mind that also cannot be shown. And all these aspects are such. So we need to understand that the, there is a difference between the physical reality and the non-physical reality. Now let's try and understand a general for framework of the formation of mind. Now, the, uh, we understood that the physical realities are these uh, five realities, right? Light, sound, smell, taste, and touch. Now, these enters through the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. And whenever it enters, it's a physical entry. Physical entry will create some or other body sensations for sure. Now, those body sensations, are perceived by us. We, we perceive. What is the meaning of perception? Perception is a decision whether we will be continuing with that reality or not. So light enters through the eyes. That light is pleasurable light or painful light. Based on that, we continue or discontinue with that light. So we close the eyes if it is not pleasurable. Otherwise, we get amazed with that sight so we continue to see right so just example for an example if you are looking at sun then your eyes will be squeezed for sure but if you are looking on a, on a tree which is a reflected light coming to your eyes which is pleasurable which is not painful so you keep on looking at that so that gives the body sensation the, the body sensation after the entry of the physical reality will lead the perception and that perception actually creates the identification of the present past and the future so first experience first experience of the 
physical reality when we perceive that gives an awareness and when we store that experience that becomes a memory and that memory will come as a projection when next time we are going to experience the same thing for example you get burned with a fire so you get an awareness that the fire is hotter than normal now your memory captured that burning experience so next time when you are going to touch a fire you will be alerted by default because of that capturing of the memory with the projection for the future so there is an identification the awareness is related to the present memory is related to the past which is a storehouse which gets captured and stored and projection is a response of that that collection so these three things awareness memory and projection this combined collection is nothing but the mind now mind definitely has got these three things based on the awareness memory and projection you have a sense of awareness you have imagination of the past and you have an assumption of the future and that keep on coming to your mind and there is an interaction between this formation of awareness memory and projection with the awareness imagination and assumption that keeps on going on so you'll we'll understand further how that impacts on the rationality and irrationality so this is the primary framework of the formation of the mind now by now we understood that the body is a physical entity and mind is a non physical entity right that gets created by the body that gets created by the body so body creating mind means the reality the assured reality concrete reality entering through the body and it is creating that mind portion that is absolutely a rational formation now if the mind starts forming the body so mind is a non physical entity which is mastering the body if it is then it is a reverse reverse mastery the first process the body creating mind is a very rational process it's a reality based process process but if the mind is creating the body then it is a reverse process and which is a kind of irrational formation we'll understand there is also a few layers of rationality can be explored now we'll be understanding four types of formation of mind of the mind here first is body forming the mind as we understood in the previous to previous slide with the awareness based perception now second is body forming mind with stimulated perception this is one aspect we need to understand that how irrationality creeps in into our being so body forming the mind with stimulated perception and how the stimulated perception happens that we are going to understand now the third type is the mind mind forming the mind causing body sensation this is also another irrational aspect of the mind when mind keeps on generating mind keeps on forming mind while having body sensation in between and the third, fourth aspect is body form mind forming mind but bypassing the body sensation there is a rational aspect here so let's explore the first is the rational mind how the rational minds gets formed so the body forming the mind with awareness based perception so these five realities they enter through the through the uh, eyes ears nose tongue and skin and that creates body sensations and body sensation is perceived perceived with a kind of awareness based regulated perception what does it mean when the entries are natural absolutely nature based entry so a tree uh, and a sun no human being is there to create this sight so both the sights will have an impact on the body with which will close the eyes or will keep it see keep it open to see it so based on that our responses will be very much regulated response because regulation is one of the primary capability of all the organisms including homo sapiens that is that is we now awareness based regulated perception will form 
responsive memory and awareness responsive memory means when at times will come it will help us to respond with the experience if it has happened to us earlier we need not to worry about that we need not to prepare a lot about that that is the responsive capability regulating capability that we have now this collection of the responsive memory and the awareness is nothing but the rational aware mind which is highly aware highly responsive and it has got effective responsive memory now the same format same format light sound smell taste touch are entering through the eyes ears nose tongue and skin but those aspects the light sound smell taste and touch are not natural anymore suppose those are suppose human crafted the light is a mobile screen so the source of light should impact to the eyes as squeezing impact but if it is a mobile screen it is a source of light but it is attractively attractively crafted that is why we are amazed with that and our regulating capability is compromised we don't squeeze our eyes we don't blink our eyes as we should blink with the experience of the natural light when it is crafted so all the crafted entry will actually compromise our regulating capability and the body sensation will have a confused perception and confused perception means it is elongated perception we are unnecessary uh, indulged with the pleasure so we have a prolonged perception there and with that prolonged perception we will definitely create memory and the projection and that memory and the projection which is nothing but the mind will have obviously imagination and assumption imagination and assumption will have the impact on the mind in the reverse pathway and what is that impact now that impact is something which is the irrational aspect from this point if the mind starts forming the body sensation so mind is now creating the body sensation and these aspects these the physical reality aspects are missing here without any physical reality entry this is the main crux of the aspect of the irrational mind so mind bypasses the physical entry and it starts generating body sensation with the thought of the fire if you feel scared that i am going to get burned so there is no sight of the fire just the thought of the fire is creating some body sensation you feel scared that is a body sensation so that means it is an irrational formation of the body sensation and that body sensation is going to form the perception and memory based things so here in this slide you see the body sensation is created by the mind and the stimulated elongated perception will be created there on and that will again form the memory and projection and from that memory and projection the mind will keep on generating so this aspect this aspect you see here there is no entry from the physical reality side what we understood there is no entry at all but the body sensation is created by the mind and that further forms mind so here what happened there is a loop there is a loop formed of the mind creating body sensation body sensation creating mind mind creating body sensation so on a loop you are engaged and all most of the aspect of the vitality is engaged in this loop so you need to be very aware about this formation of the mind the mind is creating body sensation is absolutely an indication of the irrational mind right now another aspect when the mind is creating mind but there is no body sensation what is that that is nothing but the creativity from the imagination and assumption the mind is formed and with that mind you directly create some physical reality which is a non dependent physical reality so that means you are painting 
and that painting doesn't create any body sensation no pride no pride no depression so so that means there is no body sensation there is no body sensation at all out of this particular aspects of mind creating a physical entity from the imagination and assumption so this is an example of the rational creative mind so where you are saved you are saved from the body sensation if you are painting and if you are if you are suffering from the pride or depression then it is not a rational creation it is definitely an irrational creation but if you are painting or if you are creating something which is not neither creating a pride nor creating a depression that is nothing but a rational creation now finally we need to understand the realities right ultimately the realities with this uh, previous understanding so we have this natural physical reality then stimulated or created physical reality and we have an assumption of the reality when we assume something as real like that fire example that i have given the thought of the fire is somewhere creating a uh, fear within you so that is what is an assumed non physical reality now there is another fourth category which is an aligned reality which understands all these three categories all these three categories are understood by you if you have an aligned reality so you identify and acknowledge the existence of these all three realities now natural physical reality created physical reality assumed physical reality when you understand when you have this awareness you are actually aligned with the reality now non natural physical reality do have a natural regulation inbuilt regulation when we are actually regulating we are we have the capability of natural regulation so when to stop we actually are programmed to do that so when you eat mango when to stop you are naturally programmed you need not to worry about but if you are eating some uh, crafted food like burger or maybe any cooked food so the regulation is affected for sure because of the induced pleasure which will have prolonged perception and because of that the delayed regulation happens there so when to stop that's why we all suffer from the overeating because we are so indulged with the cooked food or the processed food right more we have natural food more the regulation will happen that's an example now created physical reality has got so we are surrounded with the created physical reality if that is that creates a non dependency and dependency so that may create dependency and non dependency what is that non dependency and dependency suppose i am using this pen if i think that my conversation is dependent on this without this pen i'll not be able to have the conversation that creates a dependency if i am non dependent and i am using it for time being i am using it i am okay with it that actually will not create any dependency so there is a difference between the dependency on the created physical reality and non dependency on the physical created reality now assumed or non physical reality when we suffer from that if we create something without the body sensation that is a rational creativity that we understood if that creates the body sensation that is something else that is the irrational creation so ultimately if we talk about the rationality rationality relies in these four aspects awareness natural regulation non dependent created physical reality and rational creativity from the assumed non physical reality and the irrationality are definitely when we are dependent on the created physical reality that this aspect of the created as created reality is inseparable to my life if that kind of thought persists that means we are dependent on it and that will actually lead us to the irrational formation of mind so and again the assumed reality when it create body sensation it becomes a loop we understood and that loop actually 
is a big toll on the vitality and the formation of the mind. So these two are the irrational aspect. Thank you. If you wish to dive deeper, you can join our workshops. If you value this content and you want to contribute, we are open to that. For details, you can WhatsApp on this number for uh, getting the payment link or your contribution, mode of contribution perhaps. So uh, thank you.